Welcome back to the Rules of Engagement. We're now into the Q&A section of the show. Our first question is going to be um, on a YouTube comment from Miguel F. And it says, uh, great tip. Say, this is, of course, about a match that was between Vibe and Bales uh, that I talked about yes, uh, last week. Excuse me. He said, uh, uh, would you not also include it's probably a good idea to throw down a few key tech structures at one of your further off bases as your main is being attacked as Zerg? Uh, at least aspire so that you can uh, build an additional mutant list, also a spawning pool, things like that. Of course, this is what we're talking about a Zerg versus Protoss when you're going uh, mutant list and you're base racing your opponent and they have that giant ground army. And uh, yes, it's definitely true. If you have the, a nice bank saved up, you should try to immediately get those key tech structures, spawning pool, and spy rebuilt as soon as possible. But always prioritize the hatcheries across the map. It's better to build four hatcheries in a base race than three hatcheries in a spawning pool. And the reason why is because your key strength is mobility, not strength, right? If your army is way stronger, then yes, you're going to win. But the reason you're in a base race is because you don't need to be stronger. You just need to be more mobile. And if you're more mobile, you want to spread yourself out as much as possible so that if your opponent moves out, it takes them a very long time to kill your bases and your counterattack will knock them out and eliminate them faster. So if you have a lot of money, always get those extra tech structures, but always prioritize additional hatcheries first. Our next question is going to be from Ali Dia. And uh, this is uh, on a Q&A earlier, and I think I was talking about, um, it was, again, another one of Rules of Agent last week's is a YouTube uh, question, talking about how to control Templar really well uh, against Terran in, in, in the late game, right? Some quick micro tips on controlling Templar. And, uh, and the question is, do Templar override sentries in a control group? Do they appear higher? Uh, because some sentries for additional two armor isn't that negligible. And what I was talking about when I answered this question is that best way to control Templar late game versus Terran, if you're not insanely good, like, you watch your pros, they'll set up flanks, they'll spread Templar everywhere, and they can control them all. If you're not one of the top, top players, it's going to be very difficult to control a whole bunch of Templar in a whole different locations. So I recommend that you put, you know, four Templar in your main control group and four in a secondary control group. And now, of course, what this means is it means the sentries have to be controlled separately. And the, 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 the answer to the first part, yes, Templar do override sentries. By default, if you have Templar and Sentries in one control group, you hit that control group, the Templar will come up first. And the Psy Storm is always more important than Garden Shield. Now, additional 2 armor Garden Shield is very important, but the one thing you don't want to have to do, you don't want to have to struggle with trying to find your, your Sentry and trying to put on Garden Shield while the battle's going on. 2 armor is nice, but if you can storm your opponent's army, the other units will die, you won't need any armor because there won't be anything attacking you. So, Always uh, prioritize this micro and Templar very, very, very well. Once your storm control is very good, then start adding in using Guardian Shield in the battle. Then start adding in micro and Colossi separately. Micro and, you know, Zell to try to flank, pull them back so they don't chase too far, things like that. But prioritize Templar control. Next, always make sure you have the Guardian Shield. Next, always make sure your warping unit is in in the battle, things like that. The priority is always on the side storm, more point than anything. Guardian Shield is amazing but not quite as amazing as Sidestorm. We always want to prioritize that uh, before other types of micro. So this wraps up our Q&A. Uh, of course, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with WCS Challenger Groups at 6 p.m. Eastern. Another Rules of Engagement will be after those. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.